All right, boys. And it was beautiful. Welcome back to another video for today's topic. I got something actually pretty important that a lot of you guys, you know, just, you know, went over in the patch notes. You didn't even notice about it, but I want to talk about it because the system is actually pretty cool. We're going to talk about how important it is and uh, what you can actually get from it. Okay, good. New to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, tick that notification bell, and leave a like. <laughs> on this video, I want you guys all to smack that like button. Let's see if we can crack 250 on this one, but this topic is pretty fun, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. Throw me. Bob, throw me! <laughs> Without any other delay, let's jump straight into the video. So for you guys, I pulled up the patch note. This is everything we're going to get, but I want to talk about this one little feature that we're going to be, you know, added over here to Global. It is, in fact, the Hawk Pass Loyalty Shop now open. Exchange loyalty for costumes. All new Hawk Pass. Now, off the bat, we're seeing an image of the Eskimer pickaxe. And if you guys think about this right now, not many people know about this Hawk Pass loyalty shop. It was dropped over on JP and not many people talked about it even. But it is a really cool feature and it might help you out in the long run if you're trying to get uh, limited edition costumes and all that type of stuff. Let me show you really quick what it looks like in game. So hopping over here to my long lost JP account. I, I haven't played on this in a minute, but... So over here, we got the basic Hawk Pass. You guys know it's like $8 over here on Global. You can cop this thing and you'll get rewards, but... For you free to plays, I believe this is true, uh, you are able to receive these little things. It's like food, right? It's like a, a bowl for Hawk or something like that, right? That's what you're able to receive. It's a currency you can use to then go over here to the shop in the top right, click it, and you can go in exchange for these costumes and these items that were like limited edition items. They were things that were part of an event. Uh, they're dropping here so you can get them early. Like, think about it right now. You have the summer, Lulia. We're not going to get this until summer. We have a long, long time uh, before we actually see this costume. So this shop is full of uh, things that you weren't able to acquire. Back in the day, if they were, uh, again, this is via what Ned Marble said. So I'm going to quote them on this one. They said things that were uh, for purchase only via real money, they'll jump into this shop and they'll be, you know, you, you'll have the ability to acquire them through this entire currency. Uh, again, I can't translate that, but I think it's just like, you know, like a bowl. A hox bowl? I don't know, something like that. But if we go through it, if I did my challenges properly, I can go and claim these things and then receive... Oh, oh, oh. All right, I clicked too many times on it, but you're able to acquire these things. You'll keep on leveling up through the Hawk Pass and see... Off the bat, I don't even play on this, right? And I'm already at 45. If I keep it up, if I collect all of this, I believe it does stack uh, following the next update. I'm going to jump into the notes for you and show you everything. I keep clicking too many times, but I'm going to show you real quick. So over here in the Festival Merlin update, this is when JP got this entire Hawk Pass thing. So right here, Hawk Pass. Hawk Pass mission duration, all of this. We receive this new mileage thing. So normal Hawk Pass point, uh, mission point. Then mileage, if you do all of this, if you buy it consistently, you'll keep on upgrading the mileage points. That's what they're called. That's what this the entire thing is. You'll, entire, you'll keep on, you know, increasing this. Then you can go to the shop and then purchase something. Clearing the daily and weekly missions will grant you mission points and mileage points. Hawk Pass will level up upon obtaining. Whoa, think about saying that fast. Level up upon obtaining. Whoa. The required mission point, you can use mileage points to exchange for cosmetics in the sacred treasure shop. Bonus points remain max at the third month of consecutive purchase. If the consecutive streak breaks, the bonus will be reset uh, from the start of the first month. So this is first of all an incentive to people picking up the Hawk Pass, but it looks, you know, pretty promising. It will take you a while to grind these things to get these things, but it is cool. This actually exists. You can now uh, trade these points in for costumes. Again, yes, uh, if we go off of it, if we do the math real quick. So going off of this, we have 10, 20 over here. This actually scrolls. And then 30. So we have 30 on this page. Then we have about 300 on this page. And I believe the same on 300 on this page than 300 on this page. So practically at the end of the week or at the end of this entire Hawk Pass, if you do everything, you should be able to acquire one costume from the shop. That is one costume, okay? It seems really bad, but if you are picking up the Hawk Pass, if you're doing all of that, it is something else. It's a quick addition uh, saying I do all of this. I should be able to acquire the Lilia. I mean, hey, it's something. At least these are things you won't see for a while now. So, I mean, in my opinion, it's not bad. It's really cool. Uh, it's an entire addition to the game. More freebies they're throwing in. More things you guys can go and acquire. But that's really it. Also, over here, they threw in emotes. I believe this is also in the shop. Let me check. Yeah, if you scroll down, you're able to see it. But there it is. You have the Easton one. You have this uh, Diane. I believe this was in the Summer Easton Hawk Pass. Over here on Global, we got it in the exchange shop. But 
our shop is gonna look different given we already see the Escanor thing or actually let me check real quick no so never mind we're gonna have this in our Hawk Pass Milo shop so it looks like this costume will also be coming for gems at the same time you guys are able to acquire this for the Hawk Pass mileage, but at this time, you can't because you're only limited, I believe, to about 900 plus per time. Uh, definitely below 1,000 you'll get uh, of these mileage points. So after two Hawk Passes, then you'll probably be able to buy something. Uh, or if you purchase it, then you should be able to acquire one of these costumes. But I believe Global will get this. I think this is the right pickaxe. Let me check real quick. Yeah, so you see right here, this is the item. That was the one we saw in the image. Let me go back really quickly to show you. Right there, that's the image. See what I mean? Again, Hawk Pass Loyalty Shop. It's a super cool feature. In my opinion, it's really cool. I hope that I'm like getting this uh, right. I'm understanding this correctly because it seems a little bit too good to be true. Uh, we're getting free cosmetics, I guess you could say, after doing a lot of work for it. But we are getting it. Let me know if uh, I took this correctly and I understood everything correctly. Also, I just wanted to mention this because I talked about it in a previous video, but it looks like Netmarble did not drop it. It was, in fact, the Sacred Treasure Shop uh, discount. I said it. I was like, they could do it if they were feeling pretty nice about it. But they're probably either going to drop it in Part 2, which, again, I highly doubt. They should have dropped it in Part 1 to, like, you know, make the event all special. We'll probably see it next month or the month after uh, when Festival Merlin drops. So keep that in mind. Also, Coin Shop Commandments, I expected them. Really expected them to be on sale. Uh, because like you're about to get Melly, you're gonna need the coin shop commandments It would be really cool if you get the discount on them, but we didn't but on top of that while we're talking about costumes My guy, yo, we're gonna get one of the greatest costumes of the game Get okay, if you know what I mean Also, a lot of people have been asking me is this worth it? It's not bad Okay, in my opinion if I was gonna whale on this game or if I was spending money in this game uh, In my opinion green Goth is a great unit if I, I don't have him by the way Hawk and Oslo is a really good unit I really want to get Hawk and Oslo and then Wedding Diane is also one of my favorite units in the game. She's not cracked, uh, but she's just, you know, fun as a character to use. Uh, it's enjoyable, and uh, you can make some pretty good meme teams out of that. And also, we will be live streaming these summons. If you guys want to join in for them, it's going to be a blast. My boy Jazzy and me are going to be on stream. We're going to try and, you know, work with Chad trying to summon at the same time. We're all going to click the multi button at the same time, see what we get, whoever gets it first in chat. Uh, I want proof, though, boys. You better, you better be, like, spamming me on uh, Insta. Uh, Twitter, wherever, telling me what you got. I want to see if you're on Discord, you know, DM me to me. Show me what you got. I'm hoping you guys all pull something amazing. But for the last time, good luck, everyone. Hope you guys all can pull what you're looking for. Archangels, uh, Salt Melly, anything like that. I wish you guys all the best of luck, and I hope you get, you know, your crack team. You get, you know, 6-6 six, six Melly first rotation. Yes, sir. That's been it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, notifications on. If you made it to the end, y'all follow up my Insta, Twitter. It helps out a ton. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone. Later.